Let's drug. Thanks to Matt for requesting this via a bottle of Ardbeg Oogiedale. B.O.B. or Bob is one of those games I always saw available for rent but never bothered to play it or even find out what it's all about. This is one of those games that just blended in with everything else with a generic sounding title and a generic looking cover. And as far as I know, the acronym B.O.B. is never even explained in the SNES version anyway, not in the game or in the instruction book. So if you know what it stands for, give me a link in the description that cites a source or something. So what is this game? Well, it's a story driven action platformer. Now, nine times out of ten in a game like this, nobody cares about the story, but I bring it up here because in B.O.B., or Bob as I'm gonna call it the rest of the video, every maze-like level has a time limit. Bob is borrowing his dad's car on his way to a date, and of course he crashes, so he's gotta make his way all the way across this asteroid filled with monsters and creatures and other weird stuff in a desperate attempt to get to his date on time. And you do that by using lots of different weapons to make stuff go boom, like a spread gun, a flamethrower, or homing missiles, but each has limited ammo, so many Many times you're better off conserving what you have and just using the default weapon, or by using your giant fist attack, which is like something straight out of Battletoads. You can also collect these helper device things called remotes. You can float with an umbrella or fly around with a helicopter hat, and you'll have to to progress with the game in certain areas. There's also stuff like the flash remote that freezes all enemies on screen. Pretty simple to use all this stuff, just scroll through with the R button and activate with the X button. Bear in mind though, when you die, you lose all the stuff you've collected. There's no battery save here, but there are passwords. One interesting bit of trivia about Bob is that it's based on the same game engine as Wayne's World, which was released just a few months earlier by the same developer, and it's also one of the worst SNES games you'll ever play, or Genesis games for that matter. So yeah, the obvious question that comes to mind is, why the hell would I want to play something that was built using such a bad games engine? One big reason is the sprite animations, which are really detailed and really surprisingly well done. For example, when you climb across a hazard, you can see Bob's fingers skedaddle across as you move, or how he's able to scoot across the ground even while ducking. Bob is supposed to be some kind of ant creature thing, and they did a great job making him look like a fully realized character. A lot of the enemy and boss design here too is pretty inspired. I will say though, the overall presentation here is very, very 90s. The cartoony sound effects, the goofy soundtrack, the color palette, the level design. If you wanted to know what 1993 was like, here you go. But yeah, Bob or B.O.B. is a decent enough game. It also came out for the Genesis, but it's practically the same game. If there's any real flaw with how this game is put together, it's that it starts out pretty easy, you're cruising through the game, and then you hit a brick freaking wall with the difficulty. It's impossible not to take a ton of damage to get past certain areas, and the time limit does you no favors either. There's also these racing levels that show up here and there that can be very frustrating. The game just becomes trial and error at that point. So yeah, Bob isn't exactly going out of your way to play, but it's not that bad either. I think it's better than stuff like Jim Power, The Lost Dimension in 3D, but it's not nearly as good as something like Earthworm Jim or Super Turrican. 